Yeah. Yeah, that one's got it, right? No. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. That feels a heavy fish. Yeah, hey guys, it's your boy Nat Shag Shorten <coughs> of Fisherman's Diary Acclaim. We are here at a spot we've not fished in some time. It's this tiny little drainage creek that usually has some big tilly in it. We've got some problems. It is absolutely wretched bad with grass, but I can already see a huge tilly down there. Um, and I think we might be able to sneak down the back and find some fish there as well. It's gonna be a tough one maybe, but we'll see how we go. Hopefully there's something to see down there. It's definitely fish, it's just going to be hard to find them I think. There's no way we're fishing obviously any of this. This looks better though. Yeah, we got fish. Yeah, we got fish in there. One good one there. Desperately love to get these fish feeding on the surface. But I feel like that's going to be very hard to do. It's definitely possible, but I think it will be tricky. There's some big ones in here though, I'll tell you that much. Oh, there's, uh, there's a school of them down there, they're looking at that bread. Oh yeah, they're looking at that bread. Yes, they did have a look at it. Alright, that's good. That's what we want, baby. Let's get a bit of bread out there with a hook in it straight away. They are so much fun to target using bread on the surface, they really are. So it'd be so cool to get a few with it. <laughs> They're spooking themselves. They definitely get fished a bit, these fish. They didn't used to. When I first fished this spot, they had no idea. Alright, has he got the hook? Surely. Yes he does. Fish. Nice. There we go, good start. Nice one. Oh, good stuff. Got our net for this exact reason. I'll try and get him in without spooking any of the others. Jeez, he's not a small tilly. Look at him. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. That's a really nice fish. Wow, what a start that is. Tilly can be interesting. Sometimes they can learn from the mistakes of their brothers. Sometimes they don't. Good start, there we go. Nice tilly on some uh, bread on the surface. What I'm trying to do is just pretty much spend today on my knees. Just move around really, really uh, quietly, kind of surreptitiously because if they see you, they do spook. Need him to suck that down a bit better. Oh, that was better. I think he might've actually got that. Oh, yeah, he did too. He actually got that. Nice. That's another fish. That's a good one too. You gotta kind of wrestle them. Try not to spook the rest of the group. That's a pretty big tilly. Oh yeah, that's a pretty big tilly. That's a much better fight than the other one. Much better fight than the other one. Look at this. He's going way harder. Oh, he's not as big though, I don't think. I don't think he's as big at all. Nice. Alright, hopefully I haven't spooked him. <laughs> That's two in not a lot of time. Alright, so what I like to do is get the corner of the bread. Like that, that is a perfect piece. And then I'll run a little suicide hook in through one side. And then out through, I'll push a good chunk of it, including the line in, and then circle back like that. And so covering two spots, if they bite off that, that's okay, you've still got the hook in a piece. And if they bite through this, you're pretty much guaranteed to hook up. So it stays on really well, and the hook's totally hidden. So that's how I usually bait up. Yeah, he wanted it. He had to get it. Oh no, yeah, we're still on. Oh, we're still on. <laughs> Oh, he's not bad either. Jeez, 
it's good fun on the light gear. <clears throat> they are cold, so it's a little easier. And Tilly is such a rocks or diamonds fish. They either fight so hard, it's an absolute battle, or they kind of just give up. In general, most fish do fight a fair bit harder than a Tilly. Certainly a brim of that size wouldn't have been in that quick. That's kind of the most comparable fish to in body structure. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Come on now. Nice, so that's three. I don't think I've filmed an episode here in quite some time. It's been a while. But man, when it works, it is so much fun. So let's see if we can get down in that corner. Yeah, pretty much right smack bang there is where they are. That's gonna get eaten for sure. Has to. Yep, straight away. Look at that. Because there's shade there, they can't see anything. They just think that's perfect and safe for them as fish. Nice one. Oh, nice one. Oh, nice one. Oh, nice one. <laughs> that's the trick is casting in a spot where you can still be better odds than the fish to land him. He's not even that big. Look at him. He's not even that big. That's just a great little fight. So that's cool. If they're feeding down there, that's fine with me. We can uh, we can oblige. We might drop a fish or two if we get hook a real big one with some go into a snag, but in general, we should be still odds on the land most of what we hook. He's not even that big. Look at that. One thing that has been a credit to us today, I was about to say has been our casting. <laughs> <laughs> My plan was to do a sick cast right up there in the guts of these fucking snags. But no. No, I shouldn't have done that. That was that was hubris, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that one's got it, right? No. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's a pretty good one. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. That feels a heavy fish. Oh yeah. That feels a pretty good one. He's just heavy, look at that. That feels a pretty good tilly. You can kind of tell based on how heavy they are as opposed to how much they run, because if they're cold, they won't run much, but no matter how cold it is, they're still gonna be heavy. I think this is a pretty good one. Ooh. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Yeah, he feels okay. I th I'm calling this for fish of the day. I don't know if we're talking about like a B plus grade tilly here, but I think we might be. I think this is actually a really nice fish. I think we're talking 40s with this guy. Maybe higher. Geez, higher would be all right. Just please stay on. Oh no, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Oh no, don't go that way. Yes, come this way. I haven't even seen him yet. Oh, he's still got some go. This has to be a half a right fish. Just has to be. I think that's just a really good fight. Yeah, that's not that's not a bad fish. I did just get done saying too before about um, how you can get a really good fight from a pretty average till. Rocks and diamonds, you just never know. Oh no, he's a pretty good fish. Come on, come through this. Come on, mate. Looks like it's preggers too, actually. Yeah, that's probably fish of the day. Oh yeah, no, that's fish of the day for sure. That's a fatty too. How do you get that fat in here? What are you eating in here to get that fat? He's a just shy of 40. That is a nice fish. For an area like this, you're taking a 40 pretty much every day of the week, I'd wager. It's the longest we've gone today without catching one. It's been a couple minutes. there will help us surely yeah come on eat it eat it eat it yeah did he get it yeah he has to have yeah had to have gotten that there was no way he couldn't have he's not big he's only a little one he's only a little one I feel it from his head shakes Nice though, it took us a minute in between fish there, so that is good to knock one over. 
That was a uh, little bit of a waiting game for a second there. Oh, a little bit of a run, look at that. He's showing he's got a little something. This will be six, which is really, really, really good from a school like this. We'll take six every day of the week here. The another thing I love about this fishing spot is there's no no fishing signs. Can you believe that? There's actually a spot you can catch tilapia in Brisbane where there is not no fishing signs. That's unbelievable. Gotta love it. Council probably just doesn't know about this spot yet, otherwise they'd have armed guards um, kill on sight if anyone tries to fish it. Anywho, enough, uh, enough about council protecting uh, pest fish. Let's get this guy out of the water. <clears throat> Come on, buddy. Council may like to protect pest fish, but I sure don't. Up you go. Let's have a look. I gave him a little nose piercing there. Free of charge too, might I add. That's how gracious I am as an individual. Usually I don't even know what a nose piercing goes for, but I should be invoicing this little cunt. I suppose the fact I'm killing him, maybe we'll call it even, hey? Well, they've slowed right up on bread. They're hardly touching it now. So I reckon it's about time to uh, get a big fat European night crawler down there, work that back like a lure, and uh, see whether we can't find a Tilly sitting down there wanting one of those. Oh, did you see that one chase it? Oh no, he didn't get it. How did he not get it? He chased it. How did he not get it? He must be tiny. He must be tiny. It's the only thing I can think. He's not tiny? What? What? That was so cool seeing him chase that then. That was very cool. Just trying to think if we're gonna get a better angle from here. He's not a small fish at all. If we're gonna get a better angle from here, if we're gonna get a better angle from there. It might be much of a muchness. We just need to get the cast right. If we can get a cast down into there, we should catch him. Maybe even if we walk a little closer. Oh yeah, let's uh, we'll get this fish in first before we start thinking about others. That is a classic instance of counting your chickens before they hatch, isn't it? Trying to catch fish to the point where we're not thinking about the fish we're currently catching. All right, come here, mate. All right, first one on the night crawler, so that's good. You can see fish down there, right in front of where we're casting. That should be a fine cast, honestly. That should be near them. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Nice. There's another one. I didn't think they would, but they are definitely not turning down the night crawler. That one probably can just come straight up. He's the smallest of the day by far. Not a big fish at all, but that's okay. Night crawler. Bam! Lands again. That must all be around that corner. Oh, did one get that? I think one did. Nah, no, just a little guy. Yeah, just a little one. Come on, eat it, eat it. Yes, there we go. He's not little, he's okay. He's okay, indeed. He's all right, it's not bad to laugh, yeah? <laughs> well, there you go, I thought it was a little guy. Whoop, 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 whoop. He's not too bad. They've all been pretty good sized fish. We haven't really caught any little ones. Even that one's, he's not a big fish, but you're not gonna call him a little fish. There's only a really small bit of worm on this hook now. But let's see if there's a fish down there that wants to eat it. Yep, yep. I think we just need to set the hook a bit more. I think that's our problem. We need to actually set the hook. He's another nice one, look at that. Nightcrawler's working just fine here. Man, poor Curtis was gonna come out today, but uh, his family got sick. Poor cunt. Uh, I, I, I just, do you guys have any experience in that? How do you tell someone to leave their family and go fishing with the boys all the time? I mean, damn, it's it's the option, I'm telling ya. Did he get it? I think he has to have. I think he has to have gotten it. I mean, there's not a lot there to get, but he's got what there was. He's got what there was. You guys saw how much bait was on that hook. It wasn't too much. It wasn't too much at all. 
Man, we are putting a real dint in this school. Oh, he's a nice fish. Yeah, that's a nice tilly. Where's yeah. our net? All the way up there, sweet. Um, we're putting a real dent in this school. Well, we're definitely not gonna get all of them. There's no way about that, because they can go hide it up into the weeds. I'm sure there's about a billion back there that we can't access, but um, I mean, God damn, we're having a real good dash at this today. We're getting some fish out of the system. Oh, is that the red-tailed one? It might be, it might be. It might be, it is. Yes, we got the red-tailed one, fuck yeah. I said before I wanted him. He's a really pretty tilapia, look at that thing. We are gonna need the net though. All right, something spool time, something spool time. Tripping over grass time, tripping over everything time. Was that a snake? That'd be cool. Oh, okay. Oh, speaking of snakes, I did a uh, did an interview the other night for this uni project. Um, I'm assuming I'm allowed to talk about it. I don't see why I wouldn't be. I doubt any of the uni uh, girls watch the show. But anyway, um, yeah, it was really cool. It was like on um, pythons and their cultural relevance and how people react to them and stuff. It was actually really enjoyable. Oh, it's the first time I've ever done anything like that. I don't, I don't mind doing stuff like that because it's more like guesswork and theorizing. I'm not good at the science, like, you know, hard black and white answer. I like to talk and bullshit. Whoa, look at his tail. What the fuck? It's a triple fin. Bro. He's evolving, I think. There is the scent of death here, for sure. And it's not me. It's not me. No, it's not me. I'm pretty sure someone's caught a tilapia and killed it. I hate when people do that, hey. Yeah, there we go. Got one's attention. Look at that. <laughs> hey, buddy. Nice try. Nice try. But that worm comes with conditions. Conditions of your demise. Now that... That is a death metal uh, album name, surely. Conditions of Your Demise. That's pretty cool. That bangs. Oh, he's not a bad fish. <gasps> he's not a bad fish at all. Stop. Why are you fighting me? I hate when fish do this, hey? I like the ones that just want to die. It's relatable. Come on, bud. In come. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Come here, my boy. Come here, my son. Oh, dude. So the other day, right, I was on a job. And the miso come with me. Um, and she had some bad reflux at the time. She gets real bad reflux. And anyway, um, she was fucking... Uh, we were in the car. It was night time. I got out to go catch this snake. Um, and the miso just stayed in the car. And this old lady was like pointing where the snake was and everything. Anyway, my miso got so sick. She had to leave the car, go out onto the road to chuck her guts up. And anyway, this lady's just seen this fucking person get out of my car leave and come back and as the miso comes back and sits down in the car <laughs> the lady looks at me and goes oh did you bring your son with you <laughs> it's like no man that's the missus <laughs> oh too funny too funny that's a lovely fish guys look at that thing wow well, that's, that's a beauty that's probably the third biggest of the day nice little blue cheek too it's a good looking eminal. It's a pity it's about to get a knife through the Brian. Well guys, it is quiet now. I reckon there's a good chance we've done pretty much all we can from here, which is not bad at all. We'll line these fish up, see how many we got out, and uh, might spot hop on down to another.